close. Like, I gotta go. I said, huh? I got the kids, they was looking at me. I was like, all right, well, we gonna see what to do for today. I don't think I'm gonna do that, sweet. That don't help me, that don't help me one bit.
really bad experience working there in terms of like management, in terms of like policies and stuff. Um, if you were following me on Instagram, then you know that I had hurt my this shoulder, my left shoulder, February of 2022, this year. And the way I was treated in regards of like being told the proper procedures, that kind of thing, it put a bad taste in my mouth because one, nobody told me, hey, you're supposed to wait for like employee health, da 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 da, this is like the chain you're supposed to go through. Nobody told me that, they just told me to fill out my little incident report, and that was that. Well, my shoulder was still hurting, sweetie. So, I went to my doctor, and she did like the x-ray, and they made like medicine, and that kind of thing. So obviously I had to pay for that out of pocket. And then literally, it's so crazy, because after, went to my doctor's appointment i think literally a few hours later that's when employee health called me talking about some oh we got your um, incident report so i was like going and telling them about like the whole thing and it was just this whole ordeal where they just would not compensate me i guess for that so i was like you know what whatever so like i'm still stuck with that medical bill a few weeks later i had hurt my lower back on the job and i was just like you know what this is not for me like management is high key pissing me off i'm injuring myself at the age of i was 24 at the age of 24 like i should not be going through that much trauma to my little body like do you see how tiny i'm like 128 129 look at these 200 pound stiff people which is me and one other nurse that's literally the same size as me make it make sense like when i tell you all oh, nurses deserve their flowers they deserve their flowers so i was you know ready to just go do something else so my mom was a teacher so she was telling me about how um she was really good friends with like one of the hiring people for the county that she currently lives in and so she was like i can get you a job there you can like leave the hospital that kind of thing and i was like okay cool like i've always you know kind of had an interest in teaching that kind of thing so i wasn't too upset about leaving the hospital or nursing in general the process of me becoming a teacher it wasn't too bad like i just started in the paperwork had the interview but the thing that took the longest was to get board approved that's what took the longest and meanwhile i'm just like a hospital like bro my time is coming to an end like i can't do this no more so finally i become a teacher well finally i get board approved and then i'm able to start at the, at the school first of all i guess it was like my first red flag was when um sorry i'm not gonna see i can't really multitask <laughs> but literally my first red flag was when i had first showed up to the school it was my first day and the lady that was working there she um wasn't a teacher she was a sub she um kind of told me okay yeah like i'm going to show you the ropes that kind of thing but at 12 she's like, i gotta go i said huh, huh? <laughs> so this was like girl i gotta go and i was like okay girl that's cute but i've never been a teacher i don't know anything about these kids i haven't even had a tour of the school y'all may I remind you this is my first day it's eight in the morning it's almost like yeah she gotta go so that was been the first red flag because I didn't have proper training. I knew nothing about the school. It was very much we're gonna throw you in there and kind of see what you can do kind of thing. And I don't really like that. I don't really like that. I made it through the day though. <laughs> Literally, I was looking at the kids, they was looking at me. I was like, all right, well, we're gonna see what to do for today. The first thing was okay, and like they told me, oh yeah, you're supposed to have training, that kind of thing. We're sorry for the miscommunication. Well, I, was like, well, I, was like, I was like, okay, cool. I'm finally getting the type of training I need, but more so it wasn't training. It was just me shadowing other teachers to kind of see what they did, per se. So, I mean, I guess that kind of helped, but at the same time, in terms of classroom management, I mean, there's only so much you can do from watching people, I guess. I guess most of like your learning comes from being in the classroom. I used to summarize all that up because I feel like I am talking a lot. But to summarize all that up, it was just kind of very unorganized with the way that they had trained me and even got me inside the school. Um, I can know I know like teachers are low demand, well, not low demand, but um, teachers are high demand and they're scarce. So, like I can understand, you know, them wanting to like you know hurry up and get you in there so like you know get their kids learning and that kind of thing. But it's just the way that they went about it. At first it was okay, but then high key the stress starts to get to me because first of all, I was driving an hour to the school. Honestly, I don't really talk about why I was driving an hour child. Just know that like, I was gonna be staying closer to the school, but that just kind of didn't work out. So I was driving like an hour to the school. So I would drive an hour to school and an hour back home, Monday through Friday. Child, when I tell you like, I was like adding up on my gas because I was literally filling up like twice a week, y'all twice a week so i was spending about 350 to 400 dollars on gas that's a little too much for a job that don't even pay that much if we're being honest so that was like one thing like the gas the distance as to why i'm quitting i just didn't feel like i was getting the support that i needed as a new teacher being that one i 
I'm new to this area. Two, I have no idea what I'm doing about teaching. Three, I was teaching like a combo class. I don't know if they have those like everywhere, but it was like a four or fifth grade combo class. I was a math teacher, may I remind you. So I had like, what, 55-ish minutes to try to teach both fourth and fifth graders a day's worth of math. How do I think I'm gonna do that? I don't even know. It was just, it was too much. So like, I literally made a do what I do, but like after a certain while, I was like, bro, I need like, not even a certain while, I think within the first week, I was telling them like, I need help. Like I need help with behaviors. I need help with trying to teach both grades because it's a lot, it's a lot. Like it was just too much, quite frankly. And so I had got some help. And so, um, I mean, that was pretty cool. Like lady was helping me, answering any questions, you know, helping with behavior issues, that kind of thing. So that helped for like, maybe like a few, I don't say a few days, but it helped for like a little bit. I feel like my help kind of like drifted off per se. And I was like, okay. So I was like, okay, I mean, I think I got it. Like I've, I've been in here for like a month now. I mean, I feel like I should be a little more comfortable, you know? But no child, that was not the case. Like I remember at one point, actually I had cried to like my mentor twice. The first time I had cried was because the stress of like my health was getting to me, driving an hour to and from work, not being able to work out because by the time I would get home, I would have so much I would need to do in terms of like grading papers, lesson plans, like trying to learn another source of income. On top of trying to content create, like child, it was too much. Like my schedule would be, I would get up at like, I would get up at six, but I would land at like 6.15, 6.30. I would, you know, get dressed, brush my teeth, that kind of thing. I would make sure to, you know, pack my clothes and, like, pack my lunch the night before, that kind of thing. And that schedule helped me. And then I would leave the house at 7. I would get to the school about 8. Um, we didn't have to be there until 8.15, though. So I would go in and I would try to get, like, morning work for the kids because within my first few weeks there, I learned that these kids need some order, okay? Like, apparently they had ran off the other three subs that was there before me. So I was like, okay, they need order, routine, structure. So I would have them like complete morning work in the morning to kind of like strengthen their math skills. So normally it would just be like a blank multiplication table. It'd be like adding and subtracting, maybe word problems or whatever it was that we were working on in math that week. That's what their morning work would be. So it would be like a different worksheet or something every morning. So I'd be like, you know, finding the morning work. I'd also be, you know, making sure I printed all my copies before the kids would come in. So then I would be at the school from basically like eight to like 4.30. Then I would take a little hour drive home and I would get home to like 5.30ish. And I remember at the beginning of this whole ordeal, I would try to go to the gym. So then I would be at the gym from like 5.45, 6ish to like about 7ish. And then I hurry and come home, shower, try to eat dinner. And then I would try to work on this new source of income that I'm trying to, you know, master. So I would work on that till about 10 o'clock and then by the time I finished that, I would, you know, have to finish grading or like create videos, that kind of thing. I'm just gonna pause on that. Ooh. Honestly, I don't see how people be multitasking because I just, child, I can't. If you're keeping up, so in terms of like gas mileage, that was one thing that contributed to me resigning. My schedule, like literally I had no time to do anything that would make me more money. Like literally all my time was wrapped up in this school but I wasn't fulfilling my purpose, my dreams, or my desires, you know? And so that was another thing. And then also, like, a lot of the behaviors in the school, it's a bit too much for my patience. Like, I thought I was a very patient person. And I actually, I, I feel like I am a very patient person to a certain extent. But the longer I was at that school, the longer I just lost my composure. Like, I would talk to, you know, the other staff administrators and kind of voice my frustrations with, you know, this person always asks this way. I tried to, you know, call their parent. I tried to, you know, send them out of the classroom, give them a silent lunch, whatever I could do, I tried to do, and nothing was working. So I need help from administration. And most of the time I'd be like, oh, well, you know, that's kind of just like how they are. You know, we still haven't figured out why they're like that, that kind of thing. Like, it wasn't very encouraging. And then there was this one little boy, oh my gosh, y'all, he was just a hot mess. I mean, Lord knows I love him, but he was a hot mess. Oh my God. So, Everybody that had had him before, they'd be like, oh yeah, like, that's just kind of how he is. You know, like we tried this and this and this with him, it didn't work, that kind of thing. I don't need too much detail about him because, you know, confidentiality. But from what I received from them, they're like, yeah, that's just kind of how he is, but he's no longer my issue, he's your issue. But if you want to, you know, send him to my class for a few minutes for you to calm down, you can do that. Sweet. That don't help me. 
don't have me one bit. But yeah, I was like, okay, well, that's not very comforting because I keep telling y'all about this one little boy. I keep telling y'all about, there's probably like four or five kids in my homeroom that was just a hot mess. And the other classes that would come to my class, you know, there was some of those that were hot mess also. And so like, I was kind of just, you know, voice my frustration with not being able to teach them math because that's what I'm hired to do. And just my social emotional stress going down because I'm not being able to fulfill myself at home because I'm caught up in this job that I just don't feel I'm receiving the type of support that I need to be successful. Does that make sense? I put in my little notice and literally when I had told my kids, I'm not gonna lie, I had a little key broke, I didn't break down, but a little key broke down because I was just like, oh my god, like, I'm really about to leave y'all. The day we had told them, we, we went to it like a week before um, winter break so that, you know, parents wouldn't think they were being shady or anything like that, which they really weren't being shady. Damn, y'all can't open this up. So we had told them like a week before I was actually leaving and I had bought cupcakes and I had bought cookies, you know, you kind of soften the load. And that's something else. So like with the kids, I would try to have like little incentives, you know, help to encourage them to behave, that kind of thing. So like I would have like a secret student where I would like pick a number that was assigned to a kid in my homeroom. And if they were good throughout the day, at the end of the day, they would get a treat, you know, that kind of thing. That had worked for a little while and then child, I guess they got tired of that. <laughs> that was that. But I also put like a word of the week on the board so like i think my last week working there it was present so like whenever they were if they were bad i would erase the letter right because i mean you bad so i'm erasing the letter and so at the end of the week if they had at least one letter left they would get a treat it didn't work the first week but the second week i kind of had mercy so that they could see that it actually works and so they start behaving a little better when i told them that i was leaving like i gave them their treat for their word of the week I guess they were kind of sour, but this one little boy that I've like, built a relationship with over the past few months, I was trying to get him to go into the classroom so I could tell the whole class, but I guess he was upset about something. I don't know. So he had like went to the hallway for a minute. And so the other teachers were telling their kids, and so I had told my kids, and like I gave them cookies and cookies. Then literally, here he come, running into my classroom, bawling his little eyes out. When I tell you my heart broke, my heart broke like i was like oh my god like and the thing is like he would call me like his school mom i could kind of get like you know auntie big sister vibes from him also that kind of thing and so like i just felt so bad like when i saw him crying i just felt so bad y'all and so i was like oh my god like stop crying and cry stop crying you're gonna make me cry the little boy didn't stop crying he's kept bawling his eyes out when I tell you that broke my heart, like literally, I'm over here bawling my eyes out too. So we both in the classroom looking crazy, crying. <laughs> and so then my kids was like, oh, group hug, group hug. And they were just, they just been like so sweet throughout the whole process of me leaving. They've been like so supportive. They somehow found my TikTok chat, I don't know how, but they found my TikTok and um, they've been very supportive with that. They even like quote my little videos and stuff. I like, y'all got nothing but time on y'all hands. Like I feel so terrible leaving. But at the same time, y'all, like, I have to do what I feel as though God has called me to do. And I don't think he's called me to do teaching right now. I really, I truly don't believe that. I believe that he's called me to have a presence on, like, social media, particularly YouTube. To just kind of, like, talk about things that he, like, places on my heart in terms of, like, discipleship, in terms of, like, Christ, in terms of being a believer. Because I don't like the word Christianity. We're not going to talk about that. I don't like that word. But just in terms of, like, you know, living a fulfilling life here on this earth and, like, being a light to those in this very dark and crazy world you know and so i definitely feel like i have a lot of like, information and like knowledge to share and i'm like so nervous to start this journey of like entrepreneurship in terms of like content creating in terms of um the other side hustle that i'm trying to work on it's just it's a lot and at times i feel so overwhelmed and when i was working at the school I wasn't able to cater my energy to what I knew I was called to do, you know? And, I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, God's going to judge me for what I did or did not do here on this earth. And like, you're not going to get me caught up. <laughs> you know, are not going to get me caught up. So, yeah, it's, like, so sad. But the little boy that I was telling you guys about, that was, like, literally bawling his eyes out. Like, I have to build a relationship with him and helping him, you know, like, emotional support, that kind of thing. And so I had reached out to his mom because I was like, oh my god, like this little boy, he like broke out crying and I'm just like so sad. It literally broke my heart. I was like, I would love to, you know, continue to support him outside of school. I know he was playing basketball, so like I asked mom like when his basketball games were. And so she had told me, and I was like, okay, cool. So I'm gonna go to his little basketball games to support him. 
I, his mom has my number and I was like, you can literally FaceTime me whenever you need to. I was like, I want to see basketball games. JB's going to be with me because he's like so infatuated with JB. He's like, can I meet your siblings too? I said, okay, sweetie, you're going to meet the whole family at this point. Say less. But I was like, let's first start with the basketball games, you know? But yeah, y'all. But that's basically why I'm quitting in a nutshell. I definitely summed up a lot. So, honestly, give your flowers to these teachers because teachers put up with more stuff that I knew. And I'm just so happy that I was a good I was a good student. Like I came to class, I did what I used to do. But also, I mean my dad would be on my behind if I was a cut up. Oh my god. It's kinda sad because it's like I know that they have a lot of students have like behavioral issues and stuff. But I know it's from a variety of things. Like I know like my fifth graders, you know, they're going through like their hormonal stage. So they'd be acting crazy because of that. And then that kind of thing. But then also, you know, some people might not have the best home life or the best stable life. So it's like you kind of have to take that into consideration. But at the end of the day, I still feel like that's not an excuse for kids to come to school and like kind of disrespect or like disrespect and like stress out people that literally are coming to here to help you learn. Like we may be stern, we may not give you everything that you think you need, but we give you what you need to be successful. And it's like, it kind of hurts because it's like, I'm literally spending my hard earned money to buy you like candy, to buy like supplies for the school, to help you guys be successful, to, you know, create a loving environment. And then you don't see me throwing back at me and then disrespect me. Like, I'm sorry, but I can't do that no more. I can't. And I think like on my last day, well, my last school day, which was yesterday, I had bought them like, I bought them like a lot of candy actually. I had bought them like two juicy fruit, um, fruit gusher kind of things. I had bought them Sour Patch Kids and I had bought them Airheads and I was gonna have them choose one out of the four. Well, any four pieces of candy that they want. But then they was acting crazy that day. I said, you know what, you can only get two. And I could only put the Sour Patch Kids and the Airheads. And then it was like, they didn't even say thank you quite frankly. But I mean, I try to judge it to their head and not their heart, you know, because they are really sweet kids. But that's enough about that right now. My mouth is so dry. And it is 8.15 as I was doing all that talking. I um, did my little braids. I feel like they look so much better now. I feel like they look so much better now. And so I literally just did like inner corner highlight. And then like I kind of did like, you know, a little highlight. And I'm always gonna throw in some lip gloss. I'm literally called a Zay because yeah. We don't got time for all that. That's how I get my outfit. But I literally, I'm just gonna throw on this like one piece bodysuit and then like a trench coat and like my soft booties and leave. And leave. Let me go put that on so y'all can see the vibes. <laughs> I have a little that kind of thing so i have one or two jackets i'm going to pair it with actually let me stop playing and put deodorant on first <laughs> let me not play and for someone that hasn't been in the gym in like a month do you see it oh. i really see that bicep cd just not wait until I get my time back. But I have one or two jackets that I'm going to wear. So I have this trench coat that I had got off of Shein. I'll, if I can find it, I'll try to link it down below. But it's like this army green, if it's showing up the right way. What really caught my attention was the little sleeves. So the little sleeves have like a little bow and it's like a little, I don't even know how to describe this. But it was just so cute. And it's like on both sides. And it's like mad long, but it was definitely giving I wanted it to get like see I don't even have to put the other sleeve in and you already see the vibe you already see the vibe <laughs> but I'll do it anyways like y'all see it with my little sock booties oh let me think so yeah so this is what it will look like I feel like it'd be so cute especially oops it's 822 but especially since the weather right now, it's 35. It's cold outside, y'all. It is cold outside. So yeah, so this is like the first jacket that I have. Let me try to rearrange it so y'all can see it. Let 
Let's see. Can y'all see it? Oh yeah. So this is what it looks like. So you see the little sleeves that I was talking about? Aren't they so cute? Low key, oh my gosh, this jacket is low key giving me candy man vibes. I don't even know why. I look like candy man. Oh my god. But you see the vibes. It's so cute. Don't look at my toes too much. But yeah. So it's either this jacket or let me show you the other jacket. Okay, let me show you the other jacket. So the other jacket, I know y'all worn it in like another vloggy vlog, but it's like this brown suede one. And honestly, truly, I feel like this one is gonna keep me warm as opposed to the other one. The other one was giving cute, but I don't think it's gonna keep me warm. You keep me warm. Y'all know the vibes. So yeah, again, this is like this brown suede one. I got this one from TJ Maxx like a while ago and I'm literally obsessed. Oh yeah, if you saw my last little vlog, please focus. My good sister spent too much time on these nails for them to not focus. I don't know y'all, she's not wanting to focus right now. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> so now I'm gonna show y'all what this one looks like with the full fit. I've actually got these last year. No, I got these this year. Wow. For when I had went to Houston. I went to Houston twice this year, but I can't remember if it was the first or the second time that I went to Houston. But I got these sock boots off of Shein. Oh my god, look at these. Look at these stiletto pops. What? And they have like a little own sock bag. Yeah. So these are cute, these are the vibe. My only thing is y'all, like, I haven't, I'm not really a stiletto girl. I'm definitely more of a block heel girl, but I've been wearing heels for a minute now. So part of me feels like I should be sanctioned, you know? Ooh. But I'm like, we're gonna be sitting for the most of the part anyways. And then I do have like my little Ugg slippers. I'm probably gonna bring I'm gonna like have the after party at her house. For my ugly slippers, I'm probably gonna have a cardigan to kind of dress this down a bit. Cause, whew, the way I'm trying to be eating after I saw that menu, I need something to cover my little stomach up. <laughs> okay. So can y'all see the full fit? With the heels. So is it giving or is it giving? Um, I have my little Louis Vuitton wristlet to go with my not the GM I think I have the MM I haven't used it in so long because it's like so huge but this is kind of like the outfit I'm going for I feel like she's cute I feel like she's cute let me ask JB but first okay this is the first jacket comment down below which one you like better this is the first jacket and then let me ask the second jacket And this is the second jacket. Can you see, can you see? I don't know, I feel like the green one definitely kind of screams winter. Oh, you see the little booties? <laughs> With little wristlet, I feel like it's definitely giving. She's already graduated. Her numbers have already went up. But yeah, this is like a close up, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna ask JB which jacket he likes and that'll be the final decision. Okay, so I have showed JB and he said he liked the brown jacket better. He said it like compliments the black more. Why can't I get the camera up this high? Yeah, so yeah. But I also paired it with like this guest bag that I had got when we went to Rolling Loud in Miami this year. And literally, um, look. Isn't this so cute with a little monochromatic and it has like the little go chain detailings. Ooh, with the nails. See, now y'all can find the nails. You see the vibe. 
And then you bring it down some so you can actually see the vibe. So you can actually see the vibe. But yes, I'm never gonna add like my rings, my lip gloss, that kind of thing. I didn't like bring any big hoops because I'm just kind of over that phase right now. But yeah, so this is my fit. More than likely, I'm gonna be wearing it like this, y'all, because it is cold outside. It is 35 degrees. It is too cold. But yeah, I thought like there was something else I wanted to tell y'all, but I can't remember. Oh yeah, I had got her these flowers, some pink flowers. Well, me and GP. We got her a card. So I need to write the card. It needs to be quick because her friend also, well, not her friend, but our friend um, Monty also sent me voice notes. So I probably should listen to that because she has my ticket. So um, until further ado, I'm about to head to this graduation. It's currently 8 34. So I feel like I kind of made it time. That's what I was going to do for my perfume. Now we're about to miss out on the ground woman vibes. Now we're about to miss out. My friend Zoe had got this for me for my birthday. If you haven't seen my birthday vlog, it'll be linked. But yeah, so. But yeah, so, peace. 